Alright, uh, more news. A ghost crawler, executive producer for the MMO and former design director for League is leaving Riot. Hey internet, thanks for all the support over the past few months while I was AFK. I'm back now with some big news to share. I have decided to step down from my role at Riot Games. A combo of personal and professional considerations led me down this path. We experienced some devastating personal losses last year and I want to be closer to my surviving family. Shit, man. Bro, the way this is worded sounds really, really rough, man. We experienced some devastating personal losses last year and I want to be closer to my surviving family. Oh, bro. That already sounds so heavy, man. Uh, while I was on break, I got to think a lot about my career. Grief has a way of really bringing into focus what matters the most to you. Uh, still don't recommend it overall, though. And after nine years at Riot, it feels like it's time for something new. I said from the beginning that building a League of Legends MMO worthy of you all is going to be a long journey. The most important job I could do as part of what that was to build an amazing team. And while I try to stay humble overall, I will brag about this team all day. The MMO is in good hands and it's right time to hand over the reins for the next phase. I plan to stay in game development and have had a number of exciting opportunities presented to me already. And I'll be with you all playing the right MMO when it comes out. Hugs, Ghost Crawler. Wow. Ghost Crawler is a damn legend, by the way. Like if you if you take a look at his resume, you know, he's been he's he's a damn legend. He's an absolute legend. And I think wherever he goes. My man's gonna smurf it, you know? Um, I hope he's all right, you know? I respect uh, anyone's uh, decision uh, in that, that, that leads them on a path that is more true to themselves. And um, life is a journey after all. And uh, as you go down the path, you begin to make choices that are closer and closer to what is your true self. And uh, I, can, I can respect this decision. Uh, obviously for the MMO I think that's rough but in the end you know um, I think you know Ghost Crawler is a legend uh, I'm, I'm sad to see him go but I'm excited to see what, what's next for him and I hope uh, that he can find uh, peace truly and um, uh, grief, grief has a way of really bringing into focus what matters most to you I, I, I think I think this is, this is very important, you know. Um, su suffering is, is a part of life, you know. And uh, definitely there were some things that happened to me last year that really put everything in perspective of what's important. And um, I, I hope more people understand that portion of it uh, before um, maybe things are too late, you know. Trinima tweeted this on the MMO's development. A little bit ago, Ghost Scroller shared that after nine years of Riot Games, he'll be stepping away to focus on the things that matter most, his family. Thank you again for everything, Greg. I want to take a second to talk a little about a little, a little about what that means for the MMO. First, we're still in early development, but I have a direction that we are very excited about. We're working hard to deliver an experience that you love. But it will still be a very long road to get there. Thanks for being patient with us. We believe in this game and the team working on it. If we look at development as a race, Greg has run an amazing first leg with an incredible team, and I know whoever takes the baton next will be set up for success going forward. In the meantime, we're looking for the world's best and brightest who love ever moms. If you have ever dreamed of helping to build up we, what we hope can be the world's next incredible MMO, we'd love to hear from you. Honestly, I'm kind of in interested. <laughs> I don't know how I would help to improve this, but <laughs> I, I I am kind of interested. <laughs> I um I have to say uh, I think it's very good that Riot is allowed financially to take their time. They're not being pressured by deadlines that are required to hit some kind of quotas, and you know in order to appease to to investors they can take their time because all of their games are doing well um the only concern i have about something taking so long to develop is that when usually when you have these uh AAA games being developed usually they take a very long time and 
you start to become worried where you begin to finish aspects that these things will become outdated, right? I think that is such a challenge. It's like if if, if you finish uh, systems and the world building, I think I think obviously the the world building and the story portion of it can be dated well, but the in-game systems, how everything is going to be run, how the graphics are going to work with um, engines and so forth, this is where my concerns lie, where as you are finishing and working so at something, then maybe there are developments in your competition or in the overall um, building blocks that you need to use and then all of a sudden you have dumped a lot of work time uh, into something that might become outdated that is like my main concern how do you set up a appropriate schedule in terms of your time distribution because things can actively change around you in an industry that is ever evolving that is like my main concern for an mmo that is being built i think for the story building side and the system side you know, there's going to be, there's so many MMOs that are coming up, right? And there are so many games that are going to come out. And I think something that, for example, Blizzard did so, so well when they were, you know, at their peak was that they reinvented and added and strengthened the ideas that were available in the market, right? I think that World of Warcraft really captured that. I think, you know, that is like the main thing. So so we shall see. We shall see. That is my main concern. Because I think a lot of people out there are banking on the fact that the Riot MMO is going to be like the, the next, you know, when it comes out, it's going to be like the next 10 years of your life. So I, I am super, super excited for it. And maybe a bit too excited. Because I am genuinely, you know, a part of me is like, okay, I'm going to plan my League of Legends retirement around the MMO releasing because I want to be able to live this game. Yeah. And I'm, I'm huffing and puffing all of the hopium. There's no way this game is going to be paid to win. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Ghost Scroll already said in, in, in an interview.